Hi, this is George Woodbury from the College of the Sequoias, and I want to go over this problem from our intro stats class. It's from the interactive assignment for section 2.2, and the problem is 2.2.RA-3. And there's a little bit I want to go over here first in terms of how to do this easily, and second, how to make sure we put our answer in the right format. So we're asked to make a frequency distribution with the first class having a lower class limit of 30,000, and a class width of 6,000. I think that one way that we can work with this set of data is to make a histogram that we can then read the frequency distribution back from it. So I'm going to open this data up inside StackCrunch. And I'm going to make a histogram by pressing Graph, Histogram, selecting the column that contains the data, and we were told to start the bins at 30,000 with a width of 6,000. I'm also going to place the value above the bar. It will make it easier for me to make the frequency distribution. Press Compute. There's the graph. So the first bar goes from 30,000 to 36,000 and has a frequency of 13. The second class goes from 36,000 to 42,000. It has a height of 11. From 42,000 to 48,000, there are no values. And then finally, from 48,000 to 54,000, there's one. Now, where we have to be careful back in my math lab is that when I said 30,000 to 36,000, I really mean 30,000 up to, but not including 36,000. In my math lab, that's 30,000 to 35,999. So let's go back and enter those. The first class, again, was 30,000. Instead of 36,000, I'm going to type 35,999. That had a frequency of 13. The next class was from 36,000 to 41,999. That had a frequency of 11. The next class from 42,000 to 47,999, even though it was empty, has to be included. It had a frequency of 0. The last class, 48,000 up to 53,999. That had a frequency of 1. We check our answer. Nice work. And then we can go back and do the same thing for relative frequencies by clicking on Options, Edit, and changing the type from Frequency to Relative Frequency. Click Compute. And we type the same thing, except now we'll use 0 0.52, 0 0.44, 0 and point zero 0.04. I wanted to mention one more thing uh, while I have your attention for this problem. We could have made a frequency distribution by first binning the data. Press data, bin, select the column, var1. We're going to use fixed width bins starting at 30,000 with a bin width of 6,000. Note that it says it includes the left point, but not the right endpoint. Press Compute. Now I can make a table of those values. Stat, Tables, Frequency. Select the column bin var1 and press Compute. And there's our distribution. Now, a couple of things we have to be careful of. First is that it's missing this third class from 42,000 to 48,000. And second, You've got to remember to drop these upper limits by one when you enter them into the homework assignment. I hope this helps you out. If you have any questions, let me know.